or the question that I get asked a lot is about my bench press. How do you bench so much? And surprisingly enough, I get this question very often. So I just wanted to answer this question and help anyone that wants to lift a lot of weight, but also use it as a segue into getting better results and getting higher numbers and how to actually achieve that. If you're interested in the content that I've been creating, I know I've been posting a lot, subscribe to the channel, leave a like. Uh, right now, I was looking at it just a minute ago, 91% of viewers are not subscribed. So if you guys just wanna go ahead and subscribe, that will help me out. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Around March, I was maxed out at about 250 maybe, or like 245. And that's like a big jump to make after getting up to 300, right? Because a lot of people, that big first goal is 225, the two plates, but um, getting up to 315 is big. That is massive. I was able to go from 245 to 315 in about a month and a half. And then I went up to 335, I think a month later. So in a grand total of like two and a half months, I jumped 90 pounds. And weight. The biggest thing that helped me out with my bench press was this push-up tracker. So if you can kind of see what the push-up tracker looks like up here, I have like sets of push-ups and then here are all the days of the month. This month I've been kind of BS and I've been trying to get better about that. So get a piece of paper, stick it up on your wall and then try to get at least 100 push-ups a day. Every time you look at the push-up thing, do some push-ups. So Again, like I said, this month I've been kind of BSing, but back then I was really hitting, I want to say maybe 200 push-ups a day. Put a push-up tracker on your wall and it's a reason to continue working hard against yourself, right? You're, you're motivated against yourself. Yesterday you hit 60, so maybe today I'll hit 80. Yesterday you hit 100, maybe today I'll get 150. You keep doing this and um, eventually you'll be able to increase your bench press. The other thing that I did when increasing my bench was I actually used to hit bench four times a week. So I would hit Monday and then like with chest and then like Wednesday randomly, it would be like leg day. And my buddy was benching, so I'd go bench with him. And then Friday was chest day again. And then, you know, Sunday I would just hit chest again through it. And I, I don't have a set routine. I just kind of do whatever I feel like doing on a particular day or if I haven't hit it in a while. So yeah, I was benching four times a week. And then as far as actual like rep count goes, we were doing five sets of five of like 80% of our max. So I was doing sets of 245, sets of 255, five sets of five, 255 every single time. And then I would always, the last set, I would try to push my boundary for, for weight limit. And I think I went and hit for like um, uh, probably like two or three weeks, every time I would get like an extra five pounds added on to my bench max, just simply because I was lifting so heavy on bench. So that's kind of my answer to uh, lifting heavy. I did it a lot. I did practice very often and I gave myself incentives and cues to actually do the habit. So habit tracker, five sets of five, four times a week. And you can say whatever you want about bench press. Oh, it's not the most optimal. I don't care, bro. Okay, I will straight up say it. I do it because it's an ego lift. If that's if that's why you like bench or if you do bench, whatever, just that's what this video is for. You clicked on it for that reason. So kind of a short one. The reason why this works and this works for anything. I mean, if you go into cold calling and you make 500 cold calls, you'll get better than if you made 20. And that's just how it goes, man. Like, do the thing that you want to get better at over and over and over again, all day long, every day, and I promise you, you will get better. So you can take that from bench press and apply it anywhere else. You can apply it to squats, you can apply it to cold calling, you can apply it to writing, you can apply it to video editing, anything you can think of reading. If you just keep doing it over and over and over again, and you do it often, you will get better. So pretty short video. I just want to make this one really quickly because I was thinking about it and I do get asked this question quite often. So yeah, keep lifting, enjoy your day. Stop scrolling to social media, it's bad for you.